What happens when we pray? You know, a lot of people pray. And they don't ever look to see if anything happened about what they're praying for. Sometimes they have no clue whatsoever. The word prayer is found 529 times in various forms in the Bible. At one time, it was part of both our public lives and our private lives as Christians. But you know, as we look around us, the laws of the land are beginning to change how we offer our public prayers, if at all. A person who becomes a Christian at the age of 12 and lives to be 75 years old and prays five times a day, that's usually once per meal, probably one time in the morning and some other devotional setting at night or something like that, will pray up to 114,975 times in his life. That is a tremendous number of prayers for someone who uh, may not pray at all. Even if you just said one prayer a day, you'd still have 22,995 prayers to the Lord for what you think would benefit you in most cases. But for some of us, that's a very conservative number because many people pray more than five times a day. Just what does all that prayer accomplish? Particularly if you don't look to see if there were any results from your prayer. Is it worth the time and the trouble and the thought to pray to Jesus? James said that a fervent prayer from a faithful Christian availeth much. That's what he said in chapter 5 verse 16. You know that phrase literally means to have or to exercise great force. Prayer has great power, as we shall see as we continue our lesson. So what happens when we pray? The Godhead listens. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They all listen according to Colossians 2, verse 9, and Matthew 3, verses 16 through 17. These three make up the Godhead. The history of Christianity. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace to Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? 